slide 113, the vav that connects heaven and earth and is related to a sign, ot. Okay, well this may seem like a lot of philosophy, the last few uh, slides, and indeed it is, but I think it's important for us to grasp this this eternal aspect of the Word of God, the fact that the Vav changes time, and the fact that the Vav connects heaven and earth, and that the, and that the uh, letter Vav uh, is uh, the center of the word for sign, and on either side of the word, uh, the letter Vav, is the Aleph and Tav. By the way, if we change that Vav to a Mem, we would have the word Emet, truth. Remember Pilate standing before Yeshua and saying, what is truth? Where truth was actually sitting in front of him, the Aleph and Tav. And Yeshua is also the, the, the Vav. He's the Vav being the sixth letter, being the number of man. He's the new Adam. He's the last Adam. And the, the letter Vav is in the name Levi, because Levi means to attach. And the word for attach is Vav. The, the very word Vav means to attach and to uh, connect. And Leah said after her third child, Levi, she, she said, uh, now uh, my husband will be attached to me. And so she called his, uh, Levi's name Levi, because that means to attach, to attach. So this is the job also of Levi, is to attach the tribes of Israel to Yahweh. This is the job of the priests, and this is the job of Yeshua as a priest of a higher order, of a heavenly order, uh, higher than the order of Levi. Oh, Aaron, Yeshua is a vav. He's a priest that attaches, that brings two parties together. He brings, through the Shabbat, the Aleph and the Tav together. He brings the house of Judah and the house of uh, Israel together. He brings man and wife together. He brings the law and the prophets together. He unifies everything. And so the Sabbath really represents the unity that Yahweh uh, uh, wants in his creation. So let's have a look at this in more detail. Here we have the, the vet in, uh, in this verse. So we're looking at this in a philosophical way. We're not looking at it necessarily just um, the face value of what these words are saying, but we're deriving uh, a story, if you like, um, a deeper meaning to the verses. So this vet uh, becomes ot if we rearrange the signs. Uh, sorry, the, the, rearrange the letters. In biblical Hebrew, two different words spelt with the same letters, but in a different order, um, have a related meaning. Okay, so there's a relationship here in Hebrew. So this is the sign. The Sabbath is a sign. And the Jews require a sign, it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 22. The Jews require an ot. And one thing that the Jewish people have been very faithful in keeping, compared especially to the lost tribes, is they've kept the physical Sabbath. Uh, and that's exactly what Yahweh commanded Israel to do. Uh, and as well as keeping the physical rest, we need to enter into that spiritual rest through the Messiah. In any case, in verse 23 of chapter uh, of 1 Corinthians 1, we read, But we preach Messiah crucified, Unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks, or the Goyim, or the nations, 
foolishness. Okay, so the the uh, the preaching of the Messiah stumbles people, both Jews and Gentiles, and uh, it is foolishness to them. But to whoever receives him, whether Jew or Gentile, that's a different thing entirely. So the Sabbath reminds us that Yahweh is creator, and it is related to the word sign, or ot, the Sabbath. Now, Sabbath is the seventh day. And what is linking here to the, se the seventh word? The vav, on the sixth day, is, uh, is connecting to the seventh word. Because the Sabbath is to be kept here on earth. Vishamru. Vene Yisrael et ha Shabbat, la asot et ha Shabbat, la doratam berit olam. Bani uvein bene Yisrael ot he la olam. Ki sheshet yamim asa Yahweh et ha Shemayim ve et ha Aritz uve yom ha Shavii Shabbat ve yanafash. And in English, Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord, or Yahweh, made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So, the Sabbath is a sign. And this is the word for sign, ot. So, the fact uh, is that the sign, uh, the Sabbath, is related to this link between heavens and earth. And it's related to Yeshua being the perfect man, the Vav, and being perfect uh, God, uh, doing, uh, being the channel of uh, the Father's will through the Aleph Tav, Yeshua being the Aleph Tav in human form or in divine form, he's the Aleph Tav. So when the Father speaks, he speaks through the channel which is his word. He speaks through the Aleph Tav uh, uh, personified in his Son, his firstborn of all creation. And through that Son, he creates the heavens and the earth. And that this, the sixth word here, rearranged, is the word for sign. And it's related to the Sabbath. And the Sabbath is a, uh, relates uh, the six days of creation uh, to the six days of creation. And um, so, this, uh, so the sign, ot, is also related to creation of the heavens and the earth. And is also related to the Sabbath and thus to time. Okay, so the Sabbath, the, the, the sign is related to the Sabbath. And the Sabbath is, is a certain day of the week. So it's related to time. So the, the, the ot, the sign uh, 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 of the Sabbath uh, is re related to time. And we know that the vav changes the future into the past and the past into the future. So this here is a little bit of uh, a philosophical way of looking at these verses and seeing the importance of the Sabbath and the importance of this connection between the heaven and the earth through the Vav and through the Aleph Tav. The Aleph Tav being more related to God, and the Vav being more related to man, and those all unified together in the perfect God-man. This is how Adam was supposed to be, in, in the rest of God, uh, just re re resting in Elohim, doing everything that the Father said, and not doing or deviating anything from his word. Adam was supposed to keep his word completely. Now, he 
was tempted and he he fell but the set, the last Adam Yeshua uh, became a quickening spirit and he uh, has rescued the whole plan if you like or um, uh, redeemed the human race and so brought us full circle back into the garden if you like back into the presence of God in the Holy of Holies so the Sabbath the sign is a sign about entering into his rest and returning to that place of tranquility and a rulership with God in the heavens and on earth it's and Yeshua is the very uh, focus of all of that being the Vav being the the second Adam and the new and, and the priest uh, uh, and remember Levi is related to that Vav that uh, because Levi means to attach and the word Levi is from the word Vav to attach to hook to connect so I hope that was interesting and um, and perhaps uh, will help you when doing the uh, grammar and having to grapple with this vav that changes the verbs from future to past and past to future. Uh, I found it quite confusing when I first started learning Hebrew um, because it was hard enough to learn the uh, table of verbs, uh, let alone uh, reverse it and uh, have to do that uh, in my head but I soon got used to it and I hope you will too and perhaps you'll see uh, uh, the reason why this is the way it is because the Word of God is telling us amazing things about the t about time and eternity and about entering into his rest at the Sabbath and his son the perfect man and perfect uh, God. Now when I say perfect God I don't mean that he is the Father but he is from the Father, of the Father. He's from that eternal light. He's an uh, outshining or a, um, uh, a laser beam if you like from the Father. He's part of the Father. That beam is coming from the Father. That's what Yeshua is. So he's one with God and is God in, in, in the Father, from the Father. He's uh, a separate entity, uh, but he is one. And this is indeed how we all are. We're all, we're all individuals on one level, but if we're truly born of God, we're actually at another level. We are actually one with him. We're connected to him. And so um, we are B'nai Elohim. We are sons of God. And um, uh, if we are keeping his word, then we are Elohim, but not in the sense of little gods doing what we want to do. No, we are his sons, we are f emanations from him, and we do those things that the Father commands, even as the Son do, does all those things that the Father commands. So we live for him, even as he um, lives in us and through us. So we are vessels uh, and we are servants of the Most High, but we're also sons and we are made in the image of Elohim.